What do you do to actually make sure you stick with your goals long enough to really get there? In other words, everyone knows to drink more water, but how do you actually do it? And how do you actually use technology and certain habit tracking tools in order to get there faster? Now, I personally use three habit tracking strategies that help me stick to basically any habit to get to where I want to be. What's up guys, Alex Hine here over at ModernHealthMonk.com. So today I wanna to show you three of the technology-based tools I use to actually track habits, stay consistent, and automate kind of my efforts and just make it a lot easier for myself, especially when I work on multiple habits like drinking more water, meditating, going to the gym, eating right, and so on. Now the first app I use is called the Strides app. So the Strides app is super simple, and honestly, it's a really beautiful habit tracking app. So for example, you can actually set that you want to eat XYZ, so for example, 2,500 calories. So you can click on it, it'll show you the average number per day, it'll also show you the progress bar for that day, and essentially how far you are towards that, and then where you need to go. You can see on a daily basis how far you are. For example, it shows you know my last few days. The 28th, 29th, 30th, for example, it shows how far I am from my baseline goal. It'll show me my current day, how far I need to go, and then over the past few days or weeks, however long I've tracked this habit, what my overall average has been. So with, with you know, a numerical value like calories, for example, it's really easy because it just shows you, well, you're this much under or this much over. And then obviously it shows you your success rate from there. And the cool thing is that I like then you basically can specify when you want to get reminded. And if it's meals, I typically will just hit the reminder bell. And then I'll set up multiple triggers throughout the day in order to remind myself. So for example, you can set an alert where it's alert 1, alert 2, alert 3. And I'll set it like 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m., for example. So in general, you, can, you see how it works. The whole point here is I like that I can have all my habits in one spot, I can set reminders, and then it shows me the day-to-day -day progress behind what's going on here. Habit tracking strategy number two, I actually use Evernote a lot. I'm a massive note-taking nerd, but here's typically how I use it. So with Evernote, I mean, I really use it religiously. I actually pay for Evernote because I love it so much. You don't have to. The base version is completely free that I've used for multiple years. And the main reason I use it is because I use it to track key certain things, like for example, what I'm eating. So if I pull up my food log here, for example, I pull up my food log and I use it to track what I do Monday through Sunday. Because again, I have my own digestive thing going on, I'm trying to track and figure it out. So basically I color code them. I color code the things in black are totally fine. I color code coffee because I'm trying to drink less coffee. The red or purple color is things I should not be eating. And then the, everything else is basically things that are okay. Coffee's in dark black. And the point is, I use this because it syncs with my computer and my phone and whatever tablets because I work on my computer all day, but obviously I have my phone on me. So when I eat, I don't have my computer on me. I just track it on my phone and then it syncs to the computer later. So another thing I use it for is if I'm working on creating a new habit or I'm researching something, so let's say you're researching workouts or maybe you're researching a new diet or maybe you read my book, you're writing down strategies from the book. I typically put it all in one spot and then dial it down to figure out my vital few habits. So I'll show you an example. This document I made a few years ago when I was working on gaining weight, I have all my research here. Okay, from the Association of Sports Medicine, the personal training certification I did. Here's what they suggest. Here's another strategy. Here's out of a book. Here's out of a conversation with a guy I spoke to. Here are the sample meals that I've set aside for myself so I can completely automate it and make it easy to win on a daily basis. Breakfast, lunch, snack, and so on and so forth. Things I need to test, all that kind of stuff. And basically, I keep my vital habits inside a document. So let's scroll down here. Let's see. So here you go. I've got my actual calories per day I should be aiming for, the protein, fats, and carbs, and so on and so forth. The point here is that if I have all the exact habits to work on,
then there's really no mystery about what to do every day. And if I get discouraged, I can just pop right onto my Evernote right here and it's all there in one spot, whether it's on my computer, on my phone. And again, the big thing here is that if you keep consuming information, you get extremely overwhelmed. But if you keep it all in one spot, you don't have to keep Googling stuff when it comes time to try to get back on track. So that's Evernote, that is number two. The third one is just the good old Google Calendar or iCal on the Mac. And here's what I typically use it for. So when I did the 21 day tiny habit challenge, I mentioned the idea of the habit pyramid. And in the habit pyramid, I went into the strategy where if I'm really off course and I'm not going on the trajectory I wanna be on, I literally will take an hour, get a nice coffee at a cafe and write down hour by hour, every single habit I've done throughout the week, and I code them. Are they work? Are they meditation? Are they with my girlfriend, with my parents? What are they? So then there's no surprise if I'm not getting the results I want because they should all be there as habits. If they're not, then I shouldn't expect to be excelling in that category of my life or my fitness, for example. So with the calendar app, basically, I track my daily habits by putting them into my calendar. So I often do this in print because I personally prefer that, but I use the computer too. So let's say it's a new habit, for example, like I pick up judo or a new hobby or way back when, 10 years ago, when I started going to the gym. I put it in the calendar because otherwise it really doesn't exist for me. So I actually put it directly on the calendar app and then that ensures that it actually gets done. Again, that's synced with my computer and with my phone So it's going to pop up on both of them. That's one of the main reasons. I actually use it to make things on the calendar, especially like if it's work or school, you have to go. But if it's the gym, you don't. So to make sure I do go, I actually put it in the bloody calendar because that makes sure that I actually do it. Then the second thing is what I call a trajectory review. So we talked about if you're not going in the direction you want to be going, there's no magic, there's no mystery, right? It's all there on the paper. So you just take a few minutes to write down the habits when you did them in order to prove to yourself what direction you're actually going in. Like I said, you know, it sounds like a lot of work, but it's actually not in the long run. In the short run, wow, sitting aside for 30 minutes to write this out, it seems laborious, but in the long run, it's going to really get you to where you want to be. It's kind of that whole, that tiny habits approach. Which trajectory are you actually on day to day? Really important concept to remember. So those are the three strategies I use on a daily basis, the Strides app, Evernote, and then the iCal app, or Google calendars, whatever works. You can use that on any kind of computer. So if you like this, make sure you click the like button right below there. Click the monk, the awesome bald monk dude to subscribe, and then come visit me over at modernhealthmonk.com. Punch in your email to get that guide, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And if you like this kind of tiny habits approach, those are your tiny habits for today. If you like this, check out my book on Amazon. It's called Master the Day. And if you send me a receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two-hour bonus video training series for free. All right? So those are your habits for today. Use these three apps. Like this, comment below, and I'll catch you in the next video.